Bere. So today we'll be cooking rice and peas with oxtail and for the side we'll be using a Jamaican style coleslaw. So for all who don't know what oxtail is, oxtail is uh, the tail of the ox so it's pretty much straightforward in the wording. <laughs> Formerly it used to be only um, the tail of an ox but nowadays it is considered the tail of any cattle. Um, back in the day, it was known as a throwaway type of meat, yeah. um, so it was super cheap. And then nowadays, it's actually expensive. It's like a it's delicacy a meat. <laughs> price yeah, it tastes so good, so you know the price went up. Oh, for all you guys that don't know, on Sundays in Jamaica, we cook a special type of dinner. Like it has to be like the best meal of the yeah, week. Yeah, normally rice and peas. Yeah, rice and peas, and, and then like a high-end meat. Um, the so oxtail is from, as you guys can guess, from our African. Heritage from the one pot um, cooking tradition that we get, we got from the Africans and the Maroons. So that's where we got it from. It was a scrap meat, so we used we turned that into a delicacy meal. There you have it. All right. <laughs> See you guys soon. This is the oxtail itself, and then we have thyme, onion, scotch bonnet pepper, half a clove of garlic, and for like just the powdered seasoning we have all purpose oxtail seasoning grace oxtail sauce browning broad bean we call it broad bean in jamaica salt so this is what i'm gonna use to prepare the oxtail so i'm gonna start cleaning the oxtail so just wash it with water it's just culture for us to, to clean meat normally get get off the fat Salt to clean the oxtail. We use vinegar for a lot of things. One more wash and then we're ready for the roll, you know? I put the powdered seasoning first. All right, so all purpose. I'm a professional chef, so, so I don't have to use like a measurement. This is probably like a, a spoonful seasoning. Professional? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not a professional. Eh? So each of the seasoning, powder seasoning, you guys, it's probably about one teaspoon of each, or one and a half teaspoon. A lot of spices. And guys, for this amount of oxtail, I normally use like one, one onion. So onion in you go. I use around about this amount. Time is good anytime. You see what I did there? <laughs> Half clove of garlic. Up on the, the yak steel. So guys, you just knead in the seasoning all together. If your hands don't get messy, you're not cooking oxtail. Yeah! So it have been 30 minutes since the oxtail have been marinating so I'm gonna put the pot on to start cooking it I'm using about, about this amount of oil I'm gonna have the oil hot for three minutes it's hot
All right, guys, so I'm gonna start preparing the Jamaican style coleslaw while I'm cooking the hot steel. So, Pon, you can come tell them guys about the coleslaw. Hey, so I'm back, guys. So, about the coleslaw, almost every kind of traditions use vegetable to make a complete meal. So, like every other culture, Jamaicans do like fresh vegetables. Um, so, our coleslaw consists of cabbage, carrots, and you could add your own little twist to it. Usually we have vinegar and sugar in ours. So it's a more refreshing type of uh, side vegetable dish. We don't add mayonnaise, so we don't usually, I mean you can, but the, the uh, authentic type of Jamaican coleslaw is that we don't use mayonnaise. For all the details about how everything is made and the serving size, because most Jamaicans don't use serving size. We just kind of cook based on our own <laughs> judgment. Nice. It's just like a freelance thing. So in the description below, we'll have all the details and all the serving sizes. So I know you guys will be asking and it will be there for you guys. All right, so I'll see you guys soon. So with the first thing I'm gonna start with is the cabbage. We have to get rid of the dead or damaged skin of the cabbage, so I'm just gonna peel it. This cabbage is... You cut? No, you don't cut. Yo, this cabbage hard to cut. It's not like Jamaican cabbage. You see, I forgot the type of cabbage, but man, I almost cut off my finger because I... Alright. No, man. Huh? Oh. Holy hell, that cabbage looks so good. <laughs> yeah, like, it's another type of cabbage. It's not like normal Jamaican cabbage. So, I'm not really gonna use a lot of it. I'm just gonna use this side to show you guys how I'm gonna prepare. <laughs> The oxtail, the oxtail needs some more water. Every 20 minutes, you have to apply water to the oxtail because we're gonna cook it for like two hours. Before, it's gonna need some water there. So now I'm gonna get some carrot, wash them off. That's three carrots. Not a lot of sugar. A small amount. All right, so I'm gonna use the cucumber. I'm just gonna slice the cucumber in, in it. A lot of people don't use cucumber in their coleslaw, but I, I use it because I, I love Oh, I <laughs> No, 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 Put it in the fridge. All right. All right, guys. So I'm gonna put the butter bean in the oxtail after one hour and thirty minutes. And I'm gonna put the browning in. Just a small amount. You guys have to be careful how much browning you put in the pot. And then... Did you hear it from me? Can't forget the scotch bonnet pepper. So Wait. I use one tomato for... Alright guys, I'm back. So, if you know any Jamaicans, you know rice and peas. So, when we say rice and peas, guys, we really actually mean beans. Um, but if a Jamaican says rice and beans or beans and rice, that means not authentic. 
So we are, we are aware that it's actually um, actually beans. This is kidney beans that we use in our rice and peas. But we call it rice and peas. It goes good on the tongue. And that's how you know it's a real Jamaican rice and peas, if we call it that, okay? So it's actually kidney beans that we use right. and the rice. So the main ingredients, kidney beans as nice, eh? rice, coconut milk, we're gonna use thyme again, remember we tell us that thyme, it <laughs> thyme is good every time, salt, scotch bonnet pepper, we can't forget that, oh yeah, we, we're gonna use scotch bonnet pepper again also with the rice and peas, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna put ginger in it also, yeah, and this keeps the rice fresh. It's just, not every Jamaican knows this trick, but it keeps the rice and peas fresh. Um, so we're gonna, and scotch bonnet, with, the scotch bonnet is whole, so it's not, I know you guys probably think we're crazy um, because we put scotch bonnet pepper in our rice, but it's just the flavor. It's just for the flavor on the outside. I'm just gonna use a small green one. Yeah. The smaller ones. So that's the scotch bonnet pepper, and we have that in our rice and peas. Yeah. And guys, so this is our sort like clockwork. Every Jamaican cook rice and peas, regardless of what parish, what background, town, country, it don't matter. Rice and peas is a Jamaican Sunday dinner. And I think that comes from the fact that back then, that was our rest day. Sunday was a day that we didn't have to break our backs. And it was like a special day to us. And we just keep that tradition. So even people abroad, like we cook rice and peas every Sunday. And it's not only reserved for Sundays nowadays because it's so good. So every Jamaican restaurant that you go to, they will sell rice and peas every single day. So rice and peas is a Sunday best. And remember, ours is prepared very specific. So it has a very distinctive taste. So if you hear somebody say rice and beans, you know it's not Jamaican. Enjoy. Sean will show you guys how it's made the Jamaican authentic way. Okay, yeah, that's important. One, one other thing also, we don't really use the tin peas in Jamaica. We use like just the regular peas in the in the bag. Yeah, and it takes um, it takes a process of cooking, like it. Yeah, probably pressure cooker would probably make it fast. Make it fast so. but if, if you, we were using just the regular beans, it would probably take um, 20, 30 minutes to, to boil before we even start preparing, putting in the rice. And this is what give it that um, rich color. So when we cook it abroad, it might not have that same exact color. Yeah, it's not gonna yeah. be red. So yeah. because of the tin peas, it's not gonna have that color, that yeah. reddish color. Because the, the color that it has is based on the beans that is boiled and then you get that red bean. And also the coconut milk. Originally before we had access to the tin can coconut milk or the powdered ones, people used to actually use dry coconut and make and actually use that for the rice and peas. And yeah. nowadays we use this for convenience and we're abroad so we can't really get the dried coconut here. Um, but it does taste better like the real coconut i don't know if you guys yeah that. the real the real coconut tastes a lot more rich it, yeah if you just spend the time we have to grater it you have to milk it we'd say milk it yeah. but <laughs> first you grater it you, you get it in i don't know how to explain but like a strainer yeah you get it in a strainer and just milk it it just looks like milk just like how just like how it looks like but it's like fresh and fresh. it's rich so you know yeah. you'll really taste that rich coconut milk but even in jamaica lots of us use this grace product it's a real good substitute but it would taste way more it tastes way better when we use the real coconut so we put a lot of work in our in our cuisine like yeah. we put a lot of work and thought in it so that's why you get that yeah. nice real taste so anyways i'll let sean take over and do his All thing right. and honestly he's really good at rice and peas like he's pretty good at it so I really can't wait to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. With the rice and peas, we're gonna start off with the red bean, the kidney beans. Let's call it peas. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna have this, um, just heat up because it's already cooked. It's in the tin, right? So 
it's already cooked. Normally, if we, we had to prepare it from scratch, as I said earlier, it would take like 30 minutes before we skip to this other step where I'm going to put the um, coconut milk in. Um, so yeah, let's do it. And you guys, um, with for the, for the, um, you guys for the pea, it's a good substitute just because a, a lot of people a lot of Jamaican especially, we work a lot, right? That's the stereotype. It's very convenient. It's just easy. It skips out a, a huge part of the whole process. For the scallion, you just kind of mash it in the pot time in the pot scotch bonnet pepper and then salt so yes we're just gonna leave this to come to a boil before we put the the rice in and just before the oxtail finish I'm just gonna add the salt we have like five more minutes on this but I put the salt in at the last moment because you know we're adding so much water all the, every time in the meantime while this is coming to a boil it's already at a boil so I'm just gonna start washing my rice give it like two wash Then you just stir everything to an even. And the last thing I'm gonna put in my pot is the ginger. And just boil with it. The oxtail is finished, so I'm gonna turn this off now. Looks good, eh? This is like eight minutes in. You have to turn down the stove, guys. You have to monitor it. Seven more minutes. All right, guys, so the rice is finished now. All right, so I'm just gonna share a portion out. All right, guys, so right here we have the finished product. I'm gonna zoom into this because I know everybody watching is jealous. So this is the rice and peas here, the coleslaw, with the cucumbers on top and then the oxtail with the broad beans or the butter beans right here so i'm so ready to eat right now guys like it smells so good um, i don't know why i eat it <laughs> <laughs> so i just eat some of the rice and peas right now so you see that nice gravy you just mix it with the rice a little bit yeah oh, it tastes yes, good it tastes real good I can't eat on camera though, so. And then the coleslaw. Yeah, it's real good. All right guys, so that's it for the video. If you guys want to see the videos as soon as they drop, especially the cooking videos, you guys need to push that notification bell. That's how you guys will catch the videos. And you guys have to let us know that you like this cooking video. Uh, yes or nice because the more you guys tell us, the more videos we'll make for you guys, right? So you guys will learn and all the details will be in the description. And comment down below whatever you guys wanted to know or what you guys want us to cook next. See you guys, thanks, thanks for man. watching. And thanks for the food. Yeah, no problem.